let's get to uh, this. We're going to take a little run-up, and I know that you've heard a lot about this tonight, but I've got to hear from, uh, at the very least, Pauline on this. Queensland public servants are about to get a freaking pay rise at a time when yeah. people are chopping here, there and everywhere, where people are losing ah. their jobs here, there and everywhere. The Palaszczuk government decides, no, nope, yoink, bang, on the table, here we go, OK? 224,000 public servants are set to receive a pay rise, according to uh, the Brad Norrington in the Oz today, and well done on this, totalling more than 3% of the workforce. Now... For those that are going to be smart asses, suggesting that I or anyone else who's running against this would like to see wage reductions for nurses or police, no. Blow it out your backside. What we're focused on are the pen pushers, the uh, the, the clipboard carriers, as Gary would say, the people yep. sitting in the nice air-conditioned offices in Brisbane telling us about how we're all terrible for doing what we do uh, you know, every single day to live our lives. Um, but we were able not to find a comment from the Premier today. We couldn't find a comment from the Treasurer today, but we could find one from the no. unions. Our members are doing it tough financially. The Commonwealth is looking at pump-priming the economy because everyone is struggling. The public sector is more reliant on wage rises than they would normally be. That's the best spin they can put on the uh, from the unions in Queensland. Pauline, take the run up. Public servants get a pay rise. Paul, you have no idea how furious I'm about this when I heard about it. I cannot believe this is why Palaszczuk has to go. We've had enough of her yeah. in Queensland. She put on all these tens of thousands of public servants they, the waste of money in Queensland is ridiculous, and especially at a time like this when people are losing their jobs, they're flat out paying their mortgages or paying their rents, putting food on the table, and she does this for Queensland and the cost of the economy. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Remember, we've got an election in October this year. She's just propping up to ensure that she's got a vote from these public servants. Look, I'm all for that uh, politicians like myself, we don't get pay rises, um, and so we shouldn't. I've advocated that our superannuation should be the same as every other Australian. I've got problems with cuts, but what she has done is just over the top. I, I hope people wake up and see the type of person that she is and her government and Jackie Trad and throw them out on their ear in October. I wake up Queensland and understand what type of government we have and they're destroying our state. Gary, some mischief makers and deliberately trying to misinterpret conversations that we've been having here uh, on, on this channel about this conversation, pretending that, oh, we're all for pay cuts for nurses. Bullshit. No, and look, and Anastasia Palaszczuk went to ground. A couple of quick things, Paul. She will use nurses and coppers and fireys and people on the front line as human shields on this. But it is, as Pauline has rightly said, a dirty little deal that's been struck by uh, the left in particular, Jackie Trabb, uh, to try and engage the 30 or 40 per cent of people in Brisbane who are connected into the public sector in one shape, form or another. Teachers don't deserve uh, to be also used as human shields by politicians. Paul, the problem is that it is a nasty slap in the face right now. It's a tone-deaf moment. And what Anastasia Palaszczuk should do is to reverse this and reverse this quickly because her hold on power could be, as Peter Gleeson observed in the Courier-Mail today, be as catastrophically altered as it was in 2012 for Anna Bly. Uh, in other words, should be wiped out because Queenslanders will be rightly angry about this. But look, uh, the com 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 contrast is enormous with the Lord Mayor of Brisbane, who today won himself no favours amongst the senior echelon of Brisbane City Council, I'm sure, by announcing that Brisbane City Councillors, the chairs, in other words, the cabinet members, and remember this is a big, you know, multi-billion dollar enterprise, Brisbane City, there's no pay rises, the pay will be frozen, and that is for senior bureaucrats, and he wants it for everybody. Now, I think that's the right message to be sending. So good on you, Adrian Schrenner. Experience matters. Well done to you. I think that is right. But, Paul, the other problem is this. I think that a lot of people in the political class, and I've, I've, I've been part of it and I've been honoured to serve Australia, but I think the thing we've got to talk about here is it's not about the fact that, and people are calling for pay cuts for politicians, it's not about the number of politicians, it's not about the amount of money we're paying politicians, it's the number we're paying. And I go back to the argument I mounted a year or two ago on this program, on my own program, and that is we actually need fewer members of parliament. And this might be something 
that as we shake the tree out of this country to have a smaller government, to have a more efficient government. I mean, the parliament worked just fine, thank you very much, the other week when a third of it stayed away. <laughs> so I think there's something to that. And uh, maybe this is part of where Scott Morrison and Josh Frydenberg may have to take it. It's going to be interesting. Now